I think everyone can agree when you're hiking, camping, van lifing, living out in the wilderness like this, it's important to keep an abundant supply of shit tickets. When number two is a calling, sometimes you gotta answer. You never know where you might be, but this many shit tickets, I don't think it's quite necessary. Truth be told, I've been carrying around this giant roll of toilet paper for months now, wanting to drop it out of my paramotor, but back at home in New Jersey, I don't think it's the most responsible thing to do because this is approximately 1,000 feet of toilet paper. Back at home in New Jersey, if I were to drop it, it would likely get caught by the wind and land on someone's house named Karen. She would freak out, call the police or the FAA, and I'd be in a lot of trouble. But if you look around, we are surrounded by lots and lots of desert. So I think now's the time I'm gonna go up probably 1,500 to 2,000 feet so that I have some time to chase this guy. Drop her out and see what happens. Utility belt. Should work out just fine. So our field elevation is somewhere around 400 feet. So let's see, I'll aim for math. I'll aim for 2,000 feet. Let's give it that. That should give it plenty of time to unravel and float for a little while before it touches the ground without being excessively high that it's gonna drift far. Let's uh, go drop some shit tickets. <laughs> business folks 1,000 feet of toilet paper could probably satisfy your average family home for at least one month -na 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 -na. catches the windsock and crashes such a stupid idea but some of the stupidest ideas in paramotoring turn out to be the most fun ideas look straight down that is apparently how long this roll of toilet paper is. I want to believe the manufacturer, but I don't know, that's just blowing my mind right now with toilet paper facts. The van is a speck. Can this roll really be that long? I'm above mountains. The air is colder up here. That is some long toilet paper. I think just a little bit into the wind is going to be good. Let's get this baby primed. One question is, is it even gonna unroll completely before it hits the ground? I feel like there's definitely the likelihood that this thing's heavy enough that it won't even unfurl. All right, here we go. 1,000 feet of toilet paper in three, two, one. There she goes. Oh, she's going so fast. <laughs> it's still going. I'm trying to catch up to the tail. That is so trippy. Dude, it's going to hit the ground without even finishing. No freaking way. It's on the ground and it didn't even unravel. Oh my god! <laughs> that is an ungodly amount of toilet paper! <laughs> Holy shit! very much longer than I expected. <laughs> Look at that accuracy. All right, I'm gonna come in for a landing and we're gonna go investigate the toilet paper situation. So 
in hindsight, I definitely should have been higher, maybe another 500 feet higher. But at the same time, I still feel like it's kind of hilarious that it hit the ground while it was still just floating in the air. We're gonna walk out, see what the, uh, the site looks like. Pick it all up so we're not littering, so we don't have to call the EPA. That's a lot of toilet paper. My gosh, <laughs> this is so much toilet paper. Jacqueline, make sure you roll it up nice so we can reuse it. My hands are stuck. <laughs> can we mummify you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look absolutely ridiculous. How does it feel to be covered in a thousand feet of toilet paper? I might need to fly like this because I'm actually warm. You look Fas great. Fashion. Don't forget to wipe. <laughs> Just take off running and see if it stays on. <laughs> Keep going, I'll pick up the pieces. We are a bunch of idiots. <laughs> like I said, some of the, what did I say? We do some of the stupidest ideas, <laughs> but sometimes the stupidest ideas are the most fun. <laughs> Picking up all the pieces, EPA. You look like shit. <laughs> Welcome back to a new day. It's the next day and we're here in a park just packing up the base rig. I've been getting a lot of sweet jumps around this area recently with a bunch of cool people and I got one last night so that means I have to pack up my rig for the next one obviously and uh, the next one I'm planning to do a legal cliff around here. And then I think after that, we're probably gonna move out of this area. We've had a lot of good adventures here but van life is about trying out new spots. Um, but the rest of the day, I'm gonna get this packed up. We're gonna go jump that cliff near sunset. And uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be a good adventure. I've um, filmed at this cliff before and it's a really cool spot. So I'm stoked about it. All right, rig's all packed up and it's Saturday today. So the parking lot of the uh, place we're headed was packed and we needed a double spot for the van and the trailer. So we're Ubering from a shopping mall to the base jump. Base jump, Uber mission. Alrighty, on the trail. Just feeling out the winds. They feel really calm. It's still early in the day though, so I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on them. We'll see how they are up at the exit. All right, so we made it to the exit. Winds up here are pretty light. It's um, crosswind, but I feel that it's light enough that it won't be an issue. Um, definitely consideration for my landing. I'm gonna bring it in downhill into the wind and we should be golden. Gonna just get geared up now and we'll be ready to blast off. Yeah, base jumping. <laughs> it's freaking sick. Ready? Three, two, one, see ya. I can just gently yoink her out of the bush. 
Well, I didn't land in the tree, but the canopy did, so I can't really complain. How did I look? Super cool. Cool as shit until I hit that bush. <laughs> Epically good time. Form felt good. Landing pattern was a little rushed, which resulted in me coming in too high and putting my canopy in the bush, but whatever. So I didn't film, but I promise we had a healthy dinner at the Mad Greens salad establishment. But Cold Stone, Mud Pie Mojo, number one tip, get the Mud Pie Mojo. Jacqueline has your Mud Pie Mojo. I can barely talk because I have peanut butter on my tongue. <laughs> Cue classic shot of Walmart that we're parked at. This is where we're gonna spend the night. Tomorrow, we are finally leaving this area in Arizona. We've been here for just over a week and a half and we're gonna be heading to Glamis. We're gonna fly Glamis with Jacqueline and then Salt and Sea. Hope you guys are enjoying. We'll see you in the next episode. Till then, peace. Zzz.